So today we're working on a, uh, we're isolating and replacing a red starter relay, uh, Yamaha 3.3 liter V6. So right now, first things we are getting into is we're going to go ahead and derig a little bit uh, so we can actually get to the relay and get hands on it for a replacement. So battery power switched off. We are going to disconnect main cabling, remove the intake plastics, and uh, that's going to start with number one, disconnecting this pressure sensor see right here under the front of the intake plastics right here and now I'm just going to start unbolting. Alright so again this is done with the battery switches off. millimeter socket for this.
part relay right here. This big fat lead right here. Okay, everybody. Sorry about the camera view. It's kind of weird, I know, but we're gonna go ahead and yank this relay. Replace with a good one. So these bolts, you need to save these because they got to be reused. Remember which wires go where. So we got a ground, find that, probably grounds into our trim relay, and it does. So our ground comes off of our trim relay here. You know what, before I go any further, kill the battery power. Okay, so coming off of our ground here, this is our trim relay here. These also love to fail. Okay, when you are doing this repair, it's real easy to mess up a whole bunch of stuff by crossing up wires if you've got current going to this stuff. So make sure power is disconnected. Okay, now we got 
another lead in here. The other big no-no with these jobs is to yank on wires. Don't do it. Okay. So you can see here. This is our lead coming off the engine harness right here. So just disconnect it here. And our relay is out. So right now, what I'm doing is I got a lead connected up right here to our engine harness. I'm going to go back to the key switch bump the key switch and we should get voltage here. here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything, power back off. At this point we've checked everything coming into the relay and everything going back out of it on this main start circuit. Everything's behaving normal. Engine harness looks good. I'm not seeing anything funky there. We just looks like we got our typical failed start relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start replacing it now. Go ahead and get our ground connected back up. engine harness here. I'm gonna make sure all of our wiring here is free, able to move freely. Now we're going to go back on. down a little bit, don't want to get too crazy with the torque. Move our boots back over. Now, everything's connected up. Before we start putting everything back together here, we're going to go ahead and cut battery power back on and make sure we got a start circuit that wants to light up. Thank you. 
switch here. Awesome. All right, now we're going back on with our plastics. So, got some bolts, some nuts that are going to go on here on these studs. Connect up our hoses here. We're going to connect up here and here. We're going to go ahead and connect up right here. The battery connections back together here. And we should be able to run this motor and be done. Okay, that one was missing that when I got here. So it's going to be messing well when I get out of here. Come on over to our starboard side here. Okay, so all these are fastened. You can see our gaskets and everything are sitting nice on the intakes. I'm make sure all that stuff looks happy. Obviously, one-handing this stuff is not advisable. But hey, anything for a good film. So again, you want these tight, but don't go crazy on them. Especially don't ever torque on these little dinky ass 10 millimeters. Alright. Final test, everything's bolted up. Everything's connected up. The only thing we don't have a flywheel cover on yet. We're gonna put that on in a minute. Just wanna make sure everything lights up proper. That's all she wrote, everybody. Have a good weekend.